Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Getting Started with Rodian Schwartz NRP Power Sensors. In this presentation, we'll cover how to make basic RF average power measurements using NRP series power sensors and the Power Viewer software. This presentation assumes a basic understanding of RF power sensor measurements. If you're unfamiliar with power sensors, or if you'd like a brief review, you might want to watch the presentation Understanding Basic Power Sensor Measurements before continuing with this presentation. Although there are several different ways of connecting to and using NRP power sensors, this presentation will focus on using the Rodian Schwartz Power Viewer software to control and monitor a USB connected sensor. Power Viewer is free and can be downloaded directly from the Rodian Schwartz website. Versions are available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Note that for Windows and Mac OS users, another software package, the NRP Toolkit, must also be installed in order to have the USB and low-level drivers needed for communication with the power sensor. NRP Toolkit can be downloaded from the same location as the PowerViewer software. Although many NRP power sensors support LAN connections, in this presentation we'll be using USB, which is supported by all NRP series sensors. Once the sensor is connected using the appropriate cable, PowerViewer should automatically detect the connected sensor and display the sensor type and serial number at the bottom left portion of the screen. Note that if no sensor is connected, PowerViewer will run in so-called simulation mode, which allows you to become familiar with the application even when no sensor is available. Once the sensor is attached and recognized, the next step is to zero the sensor. To zero the sensor, first either physically disconnect the sensor from the device under test, or ensure that the device under test is not producing any RF power. In Power Viewer, verify that Continuous Average Mode is selected and start the measurement using the green play button. The next step is to click on the zero icon in the Power Viewer GUI. The LED should turn blue to indicate that zeroing is underway and then green when zeroing is completed. This usually takes less than 10 seconds, but will depend on the sensor type. Note that if the LED turns red, this means zeroing was aborted, most likely because power was still being applied to the sensor. In this presentation, we'll be showing how to make measurements in continuous average mode, which is the most common mode used when measuring power. Measurements can be started or stopped using the play and stop buttons, and the power level is displayed continuously while running. Note that we can also change the measurement units to watts, volts, etc. The two parameters which most influence power measurements are aperture, how long each measurement takes, and average count, or how many measurements we make before reporting the results. These are shown in the measurement results window. Power Viewer uses average off to indicate that the average count is being automatically set by the application. In this case, the count is 256. The 20 millisecond aperture value was configured automatically based on the connected sensor type. You can, however, easily override this value if necessary. To ensure that we have the most accurate results, we should configure our signal frequency as well. And if we want to compensate for the loss in cables, connectors, etc., we can enter an appropriate value into level offset. Note the small level offset indicator in the display that shows when a level offset is being applied. If we have a non-constant signal, the displayed power will fluctuate over time. The best way to deal with this is to manually increase the average count. This should lead to more consistent measurement results, but will also increase the measurement time, sometimes dramatically. Other ways of stabilizing the measurement results include manually increasing the aperture time and or enabling smoothing. How much of an effect these have will of course depend on the nature of the non-constant signal being measured. Let's end with a brief summary. There are many ways to use Rodian Schwartz NRP series power sensors, and in this presentation, we covered using the Power Viewer software and a USB connection to make continuous average power measurements. We also discussed how and why power sensors should be zeroed before making measurements. And although these measurements usually require very little configuration, there are some other parameters you may want to adjust, such as average count, aperture, smoothing, signal frequency, and level offset. This concludes our presentation, Getting Started with Rodian Schwartz NRP Series Power Sensors. If you'd like to learn more about power sensors or making different types of power sensor measurements, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.